Hi everybody. In this video we're going to look at an analogy of building sandwiches to better understand the topic of stoichiometry. This comes from a really fantastic website, PHET, from the University of Colorado, where we're looking at reactants, products, and leftovers. We can look at actual chemical reactions. For this video we're going to look at the process of making a, a sandwich. So first let's make a cheese sandwich. We're going to use two slices of bread, one slice of cheese to make one sandwich. We can see that that equation is shown right here. Uh, now, let's consider a scenario. Let's imagine that we have eight slices of bread and that we have eight slices of cheese. How many sandwiches can we make? So here we can see uh, with pictures represented that we're able to make four sandwiches. That makes sense because we had eight slices of bread. Um, we'll have no bread left. We're going to have four slices of cheese which are left over. Um, now the cheese, we had more than we needed to make those sandwiches. Let's now do some dimensional analysis to help us better understand how we identify what is a limiting reactant and what is an excess reactant for stoichiometry purposes. So I'm going to do some dimensional analysis here. I'll use uh, B for bread and so I'm going to write down that we have eight pieces of bread and uh, then we need to go back to get our stoichiometric ratios to the balanced equation. So we know for every two slices of bread we can make one sandwich. That's how I came up with this fraction right here. Doing the math allows me to calculate that this amount of bread will allow me to make four sandwiches. Alright, so that makes sense. Now we want to do some stoichiometry based on the other reactant. So we're going to base a calculation on the amount of cheese that was available in our kitchen to make sandwiches. So again we had eight slices of cheese. Now again returning to the balanced equation I can see that for every one slice of cheese I can make one sandwich. That's our definition of what a sandwich is. So one slice of cheese allows me to make one sandwich. So here the math tells me that I have enough cheese to make eight sandwiches. Now I have an issue here, right? I can't make four sandwiches in one scenario and, and make eight in the other scenario. So the reality is I can only make four sandwiches based on the amount of starting materials that I have. So this tells me that bread is the limiting reactant for this, uh, for this process because I'm going to use up all of the bread. There won't be any left over. So the bread limits how many sandwiches I can make. Because there was leftover cheese, the cheese is an excess reactant. In this, um, in this example. Um, so it's the excess reactant because again we had cheese which was left over because I only needed one slice of cheese for every sandwich that I was going to be making. We're going to take a look at one additional example of sandwich stoichiometry. So we want to take a look at a different kind of sandwich. Here I'm going to custom design my sandwich. So once again I need two slices of bread to make my sandwich. I'd like a little bit of meat on my sandwich so I'm going to use three slices of lunch meat one slice of cheese to make a sandwich. So my balanced equation is two slices of bread, three slices of lunch meat, one slice of cheese allows me to make one sandwich. Now I'm going to uh, add in some values. We got five slices of bread, six slices of lunch meat, three slices of cheese. This is going to allow me to make two sandwiches. I'll have one slice of bread which is going to be uh, left over. I'm going to have no lunch meat left over and I'm going to have one slice of cheese left over. Immediately I can identify my limiting reactant. It is the lunch meat. But now let's do some dimensional analysis to help us better understand why this is the case. Now because I have three different reactants I'm going to do three different dimensional analysis setups. The first one will base that on the amount of bread that we're starting with. So we have five slices of bread. Remember that one sandwich can be made from two slices of bread. So that's where I'm coming up with this ratio right here. Two slices of bread produces one sandwich. I have enough bread to make two and a half sandwiches in this example. Now I want to do a calculation based on how much lunch meat I have. So I have six slices of lunch meat available in my refrigerator. So if I have six slices of lunch meat, I need three slices of lunch meat to make one sandwich. So that's where I'm coming up with this fraction right here. Three slices of meat to make one sandwich. Doing the math I can calculate. I have enough lunch meat to make two sandwiches. My final calculation will be based on the amount of cheese that I have available to make sandwiches. I have three slices of cheese. I need to return one more time to the balanced equation. I need one slice of cheese for every one sandwich that I would like to make. So three slices of cheese, one slice of cheese for every one sandwich. I have enough cheese to make three sandwiches. Now I can't simultaneously make two and a half sandwiches, two sandwiches, and three sandwiches. I'm always going to select the value with the lowest result. So the number of sandwiches that I can make is two. So I can make 
two sandwiches, meat we identify here as the limiting reactant in this example. The other two, where I have leftovers, bread and cheese, we're going to identify those as excess reactants. And I don't have enough meat to make two and a half sandwiches. I don't have enough meat to make three sandwiches. So I will have leftovers of bread and cheese. Those are both going to be identified as excess reactants. That's the end. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope this was helpful.